right, we have reached day 182 of the tribulation. And the world continues to spiral downwards into chaos. Today is uh, November 12th, 2011, the day after 11, 11, 11. Of course, there were a lot of people out there that were expecting something big to happen on 11, 11, 11. So rather than go into all the details on 11, 11, 11, if you go over to Operation End Times, I did an update on what happened on 11, 11, 11. But, uh, I'm not really going to focus on 11, 11, 11. Instead, as far as the tribulation goes, um, you know, the way I see it is the world has always been a balance of good versus evil. You know, and sometimes forces of good, sometimes forces of evil. So the scales may be tipping in this tr period of tribulation towards the sinister forces with evil intent. And you know what I've been preaching about or talking about as far as the tribulation goes is uh, reassessing who and what you are and what your values are and what's important knowing where you stand and what you're going to do when the time comes when chaos is staring you straight in the face now uh, you know back in the 80s I think it was uh, a black film director Spike Lee made what I thought was just a really awesome movie called Do the Right Thing and uh, you know it was a comedy and it, it showed how all the races were at each other's throats and, uh, you know, in the end of the movie, basically, chaos broke out and, uh, you know, the neighborhood burnt down the local pizza parlor. And, uh, you know, there was no purpose for any of it. <laughs> but that's what happened. So, you know, to me, that's kind of where we are in this tribulation is, uh, you know, are the scales tipping? And, you know, in that regard, you know, are we doing the right thing when the time comes? You know, it's kind of like uh, what's happening with Penn State with uh, the football coach and the assistant football coach who uh, apparently is a, a child molester but uh, you know the problem was a lot of people that knew about what was going on and had the opportunity to do the right thing didn't do it or did nothing at all so it continued and grew and, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, that's that's where we are. You know, uh, the Occupy Wall Street people, you know, a lot of good intentions, you know, saying that uh, bankers are greedy or, you know, rich people, Wall Street corruption. But are you going to do the right thing? Or are you just going to, you know, default to chaos and destruction, which in the long run doesn't accomplish anything and doesn't solve the problems you're there for? You know, and just leads to more problems. Um, you know, uh, doing the right thing, you know, for a lot of us with 7 billion people on the planet, doing the right thing is also doing the right thing, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, not only running your company and taking care of your people, but, you know, the environment, making sure you're not you know, polluting the planet and leading to the extermination of species or humans as a whole. So, the tribulation continues. You know, crazy weather everywhere, storms, floodings, volcanoes, you know, the, the one volcano in Iceland is, uh, you know, the one in Iceland, Katla, and the one down in uh, the Canary Islands, El Hierro, those are the two to look at, but there's more, there's volcanoes in South America, Alaska, wherever. And, uh, you know, 
atomic nuclear radiation, you know, whether it be through warfare, you know, Israel going against Iran, terrorism, smart bomb, or dirty bomb, or through nuclear power, you know, uh, with all the earthquakes and earth change, you know, we've had, you know, there's Fukushima, which is just leaking radiation to this day, you know, there's still Chernobyl that's leaking radiation, you know, and who knows how many more nuclear power plants might be leaking and killing us with us not even knowing it. What we need is somebody out there to do the right thing. And then, you know, I was looking just at the satellite situation. We got a third satellite. You know, the Russians sent some kind of a, tried to send a probe to Mars, and it's, I guess, fallen back to Earth, and it's just loaded with toxic radiation. But, you know, we've already had two others. So why are all these satellites falling back to Earth? What the hell's going on? You know, somebody, when it comes to space, needs to do the right thing and expose whatever it is, the conspiracy. Otherwise, the tribulation will continue. People don't do the right thing, make the wrong choices, join the mob, believe the hype, fall for the, de the deception, stick their heads in the sand, ignore it all, none of that's doing the right thing. All right, keep on rocking. Peace out. Take care.